Hi, this is Harish Bali from technofair.com. In this tutorial, I am going to share two methods to mirror your Android device on PC. Let's start with the first. On your web browser, open the site mirrorop.com. Go to products. Scroll down and under receiver section, open this link windows receiver. Check your system configurations before you start using this method and it will work on Vistas, Windows 7 and XP. Then click on this try now link. Let me now install the setup. I have now got desktop shortcut for this mirror op receiver open the same it has got name of my laptop with waiting connection at ip i will now need to go to my android device and download this app mirror op sender from play store so after the app is downloaded open the app it is showing the ip with my computer name tap on the same it's now reminding me the sender is not licensed. You need to buy a license to register or this reminder will be displayed periodically which is after every 5 minutes. So you may try this for few times and if you like this you can tap on the register now link and buy it for it's about $10. So I am going to tap on later. And then I can see various keys play, stop, settings and home. If I tap on play. It's connecting my Android device to the computer system. This is my Android screen. Let me go to the home screen. This is how easy it was to mirror my Android device on my computer system. Just in case if you wish to try out some settings, open the sender again. And you can tap on this settings. And try out other things like this rotate angular to other options. On degrees go back settings then quality on max resolution and other settings that was about using mirror op to display your android device on your computer system let me now demonstrate the use of second method which is also easy to use and follow for the second method you will need to download java this is the link java.com slash n slash download I have given it in the description below free java download agree let me now install the setup you can check this box if you wish to change the destination folder next you have successfully installed java close now we need to download a software by the name droid screen on our computer for which I have given the link in the description below. This is the link. Download this. Show all downloads. Mobile software. I am copying this on my desktop. Unzip this. Now need to unzip this adb.rar also. Enter password. This is asking for a password so you can enter at the rate android. A N D R O I D. At the rate of android. Okay. Now I've got the unzip done. Let me put all this into a new folder by the name screen share. Let me copy this to a new folder. Now we need to run this application droid at screen. Click on ADB. Go to ADB executable path. Browse. Back to desktop where I have saved the file. Screen share is the folder. And under screen share I had this ADB folder. So I need to choose this file adb.exe open and then click ok 
At this stage, you need to connect your Android device with your computer system and enable debugging mode under developer option. If you are not sure about how to do it, I have given the link in the description below. So here I am turning on my debugging mode on developer option. So moment this is done, Android screen starts reflecting on the computer system. So this is my Android device screen. I am on home screen. I can adjust the settings. So if I want to make this at 50%, I can simply take this at 50% or maybe 80% will be little better. So this is my Android device home screen. These are the apps that I'm using. So I can control my Android device from my computer system as well as through my device. For example, using my keyboard mouse, I can click on Chrome and browser will open. Similarly, I may use back this from my device to go back. This second method that I've just explained works wonderfully well on all Windows version and it's free. So you don't have to spend any money. Only flip side of this is that it works little slow. So response on your device and what is visible on the computer may not be instant. So it, there's a lag of about one and a half to two seconds. That was all about using two methods to mirror your Android device on your computer screen. If you found this video useful, do give it a thumbs up. Also watch other interesting videos by clicking on the links appearing in front of your screen. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and thanks for watching.